Hey, this is JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, we're going to have a look at two Mora knives, the Mora Companion and the Mora Bushcraft Black. And I'm going to discuss whether you should upgrade from the Companion to the Bushcraft Black. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, do check out my shop links in the pinned comment or the description below. Thanks a lot. Mora Knives from Sweden offers a range of budget knives which are well suited for bushcraft, hiking, camping and the general outdoors. Most serious outdoor people would own a Mora knife because they are inexpensive but highly functional and lightweight as well. And for the price, you can't really beat them. Now, price is of course relative because it depends where you're in the world. For example, the Mora Companion. Now, it runs about 17 US dollars, but in this part of the world, in Southeast Asia, we pay a premium for Mora knives, so that'll be about 25 US dollars. This would cost between 45 to 60 US dollars, uh, but we'll pay 85 US dollars here. I probably paid 25 US dollars for this, but this I got it uh, on a sale, so I got a good deal, probably about 50 US dollars. But generally, it's much more expensive. Now, if you're in Europe, probably you can get it even cheaper. If you are from Europe, let me know how much these would cost. So one of the first fixed blades that I got was the Mora Companion. It's lightweight, it's ergonomic, and not too expensive. Now, I recently got this because I wanted to upgrade the Mora knife and also to see if there was a significant difference because this is about two and a half to three times the price. Now, granted, this is not a head-to-head -head comparison because the steel is different. This is stainless steel, this is carbon steel, uh, but I did want to try, you know, what was the difference uh, in terms of toughness and even retention even if it's not a scientific test I just wanted to get a gauge for myself so let's have a look at the two knives first let's talk about the sheaths they both come in these poly plastic sheaths for the more companion you can see it's just one fixed sheath like that there's a clip for a one half inch wide belt for the bushcraft you actually get a choice you can actually detach this because you get two of these one is a belt loop for a two inch white belt and you also get this which is similar to the companions clip but you can remove it and you can change them as you like and because it can swivel it's almost like a bit of a dangler so that can make it a bit more convenient and they both have a very good fit kind of press and it's a friction fit but there's no way it would really drop out so highly serviceable uh, sheaves and again for the price that you're paying it's a great package now visually looking at the knives you can see they come from the same family there are similarities although the bushcraft is slightly larger overall both in handle and the blade the thickness of the blade is also different this is 2.5 millimeters thick and this is 3.2 millimeters thick, similar to the Garber, which is a Fu-Tang uh, knife from Mora Knives. Now, this particular knife, you can see the handle, it's, uh, there is some swell here, so there's some shape. It is ergonomic, uh, but for the Bushcraft Black, it's even more pronounced in terms of the swell. And definitely, it's much more comfortable and ergonomic. So, hands down, this handle is really good, and I think even better than the Garber. In terms of the grinds, they're about the same Scandi grinds, but because of the blade thickness, the thickness behind the edge is also different. So the companion is definitely thinner than the uh, Bushcraft Black over here. Now these are not full tang knives, meaning the tangs don't run all the way to the end. These are partial tang and they run about three quarters uh, through the handle. And I've got a new needle magnet here, you can see it. So right there, just before the halfway mark, you can see the magnet's not dropping. If I move it to about three quarters, it's not dropping as well. But if I have to move it just a bit more, you can see it drops. And that's because that's a three quarter mark. Now the Bushcraft Black is the same. So you can see that's the halfway mark and we go to about three quarters you can see it's starting to slide and that's because the tang ends about there so about the same both have about the same thickness now you might be worried does that mean it's not a strong knife now for what you're going to use it for it's more than capable you shouldn't really be battening with this and there's a case to be made that you shouldn't batten with any fixed blade that's what a hatchet an axe or a machete is for to split wood uh, but if you really need to, to do so in a pinch, you can do so. I'll say just don't uh, try to batten really thick 
and hard pieces of wood. You want to save the blade uh, as far as you can. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some unscientific tests. As mentioned, the blade steel is different, uh, so you can't really do a head-to-head -head comparison because it's different steels. Uh, but we do know that the carbon steel, of course, will rust if you don't maintain it. Now, there is a black coating, but it would wear off uh, once you use it. But I do want to just see the edge retention and we'll bring it out to the field to do some uh, little field work and I'll give you my thoughts after that and I'll let you know whether I think you should upgrade from the Companion to the Mora Bushcraft Black. Let's check out the edge retention first. We're here at my workshop table. I've got the Mora Knife Companion, the Bushcraft Black over here. So I've touched up the blades, struck them up so they're both very slicey as you can see. So more or less uh, both really sharp and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this 10 millimeter jute rope. I'm going to make 20 cuts each and then I'm going to test it on the paper and then I'll just keep cycling through until I lose the edge and then I'll kind of give you my results after this. So let's start with the Mora Companion first. So 20 cuts. So we're back in the studio, we've cleaned up the blades, we've done all that testing and let's just uh, try out the blades again. So I was quite surprised, this is the Bushcraft Black. It's not cutting any paper. The Mora Companion, not great. Still can slice it just a bit but yeah, hardly. So what can I say, at least after these unscientific uh, testing? I honestly expected the Bushcraft Black to perform better. I know it's high carbon steel, edge retention is also not that great, but it really paled in comparison to this, and this is 12C27, which means the garbage at a 14C28N would really hold up its edge much better than any of these two knives. Uh, this really, even from the start, uh, for the rope cutting, had a problem cutting through all the rope. Now I thought it was the thickness behind the edge that might be the issue. But when I went out into the field, I had the same problems. Even just doing feather stickings, uh, I, I felt there was an issue. Now, when it comes to heavier work, 
not a problem, right? This definitely could batten through stuff, even though it's thin wood. Uh, even this could, could do it as well. But when it came for the final work, and when you think about a knife of this size, you are thinking of bushcraft work, woodwork, final task, cutting things. And this was actually harder to cut, and I was really surprised. And this actually held up better. So if this is two and a half to three times the price, then maybe it's not as good uh, an idea to upgrade from the companion. Now, I'm not sure if it's just a one-off. Uh, you can let me know your experiences. But if I were to make a consideration, I would think instead of upgrading from the companion to the bushcraft, uh, maybe you could go to the stainless steel or you could just go to the companion heavy duty which is only about three us dollars more and then you get a stainless steel blade same steel as this but 3.2 millimeters thick so the same thickness of this and maybe you get that best of both worlds compromise because you get a thicker blade uh, which you might find more robust uh, more hardy but maybe you get the corrosion resistance and the edge retention of course once it gets to that three point two millimeter thickness i'm not sure if the thickness behind the edge changes greatly and whether that affects its slicing ability but i would say i'm actually pretty surprised and if i were just to strictly compare these two based on the test uh, that i've done so far i would say there's no need to upgrade from the companion to the bushcraft uh, black at least maybe the bushcraft stainless steel which is actually cheaper than the carbon steel might work out but let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have that knife and uh, if you compare the two, which do you think is the better knife? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.